Hi, Bon Bon here, and here's some food. Or in this case, something liquid. Not quite a beverage though, because according to this, this is milk peanut soup, Taiwan's favorite traditional dessert soup. Traditional dessert soup in a can is probably the most Chinesey type thing you can imagine. I probably would suggest. Probably the most Chinesey type thing you can imagine is China. That's quite Chinese, I feel. Anyway, um, what can I tell you about this? Well, first of all, I will be testing it. <laughs> I will be testing it straight out the can. Look, it has a spoon, a folding spoon in the lid. So that's going to be fun. Right. Um, well, we have all the usual information on the side. Again, most of it is stuff that I can't read because it's in foreign. But we have got the lovely importer sticker over here that I can now read for you. Uh, you'll be very lucky to be able to read this no matter how still I hold this because I need the glasses and a magnifying glass to be able to read. This is this bonkers. But anyway, milk peanut soup contains water. No surprise there, guys. Water. Chinese water, though, so it might taste of pollution. Sorry, I take that back. <laughs> it's the British rivers that are polluted. Let's not, let's not knock China. Oh, no. Anyway, water. Peanuts. 12%. 12% peanuts in here. And we have sugar, cornstarch, creamer. Creamer is coconut oil and skimmed milk powder, which is 0.1%. 0.1%. Mm. Uh, emulsifier, E473, which is the European way of writing sucrose esters of fatty acids. A acids. Let me say that again. Sucrose esters of fatty acids, E473. If you think that sounds tasty, you wait. <laughs> We have E491, which is sorbitan monosterate, and E471, which is mono and diglycerides of fatty acids. We also have antioxidant E340, which is potassium phosphate. We have thickener, which is E469, which and I've not I've not read this one out loud before, so this is going to be entertaining. Sodium carbo car, that's right again. Sodium carboxymethyl cellulose. Yeah. Carboxymethyl cellulose. Right. Uh, that's the sodium version of that one. And then E407, which is carrageenans. We also have skimmed milk powder, which is 1%, and stabilizer. E450A, which is disodium, pyrophosphate, and other sodium and potassium phosphates. If this isn't the most delicious thing you've ever heard in your entire life, I don't know what is. <laughs> anyway, uh, total contents is 340 grams, so about a third of 100 grams. So the information I'm about, now about to read off of the nutritional information Take that as one, if we were to drink all of this or eat, drink all of this in one sitting, it would be about one third of this. Uh, so 510 kilojoules per 100 grams. Oh no, it's 300 grams. Th uh, three times this number. <laughs> 3.4 times this number. Sorry, I get it backwards. So yes, 500 kilojoules. Or 122, 122 uh, calories. So 3.4 times by 1.22 would be 666, and then 0.4, 300, about the about 400, 400 um, calories, something like that. If I drink all of this, I probably won't. Anyway, fat is 7.5 of which 1.7.5 grams of which 1.4 grams saturates carbs are 9.8 grams of which 7.6 gram sugars 
and protein is a 3.8 which is expected to be fairly high because it's a peanut product with zero grams of salt which surprises me a lot because all the words of potassium and sodium and uh, sodium and potassium both of those things came out at least twice in the ingredients um but it's not salt so there we go imported into the uk by thai pack limited of london there we are so um the picture is like a watery um a watery a slightly white watery substance with peanuts floating in it i don't know if i want to try this <laughs> but i'm going to the things i do for you oh look there's there's my spoon there's my spoon okay there's a spoon it folds it folds and it clicks into that odd shape that very ladly oh hang on no wait 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 there so low yodel ladle low yeah there you go that's me yodeling badly right does it say shake i think i will shake it anyway it says ready to serve um it might say shake well before use let me give this a good i'm gonna do this off camera upside down there we go giving that a good old there we go that's been well shooked okay it's at room temperature but it's slightly chilly ish in the room today so it's not exactly it uh, yeah it's it's not cold but it's not warm now can we get this Ooh, here we go all right so um what we have in here are peanuts i'm just going to see how i think most uh, the further you go down probably there's fewer because they obviously they they will float but it, i think i'm feeling quite yeah with the um spoon right to the bottom i think i'm still feeling peanuts near the bottom let's give this thing a smell hang on let's have a go well that smells of peanuts <laughs> don't know what you were expecting but that smells of peanuts and not much else and there's much more i can do let me just try one actually no let me go for the let's go for a peanut first of all let's just go if i can find one solitary peanut let's see how that tastes on its own mm. these peanuts are mushy they are mushy um mushy um soft and um, not soft in a bad way but soft as in this has been soaked in whatever it sat in there for ever probably well cooked as well because obviously it's in a can so it's been cooked in the canning process yeah that is there is no bite to these at all that that i just put against the roof of my my mouth and squished it with my tongue and it squished okay well we know it the peanuts are going to taste the peanut let me see if i can't get a little bit of the the soup without any peanut in it right let's give that a little taste that's not nasty that's not nasty at all okay um there was a slight milkiness to this i mean peanut milk soup you want peanuts in milk is what we're thinking here all right let's do it let's go for it let's have a a good mouthful of this okay why my, my western taste is saying that is weird but not in any kind of nasty way it's um it's just i've never had anything quite like that first of all i don't think i've ever had squishy peanuts i mean yes i've had peanut butter but generally peanut butter has 
um, bits of peanuts in it, which are crunchy, right? Uh, yeah, it's milk and peanuts, kind of, kind of, I mean, it's, oh, it's that's what it, that's exactly what it says on the tin, right? Um, yeah, I think I, I mean, I'm going to have to eat all of this in one sitting, aren't I? I'm not, not in front of you now. Oh, behind you. But, um, yeah. That. That is very edible. It's weird. <laughs> it's really not what I don't... I think I was expecting the peanuts to be solid. And they're not. They they are... They are bordering... They, they, they've still got their shape, but they are bordering on mushy. There's no bite to them at all. There's no crunch. They just... If I was to take one, I would take one between my two fingers. See if I can't demonstrate this. So here we go. We have a peanut and it has just mushed. Mmm. And it's very tasty. I like that. Um, weird. Didn't expect to like it. Actually, I do. And um, I can see why the Taiwanese really rate this as a dessert product so yeah um that there is milk peanut soup and i've got one more product from that place that before i go and buy some more of them so if you want me to go and buy some more now's the time to do so because otherwise this series comes to an end next week and um i'm enjoying it so let me know in the comments yay or nay also thumbs up if you enjoyed the video subscribe if you want to see more Hit the notification bell if you really, really, really want to see it urgently. Right, be the first to see it. I am going to be back next week with more of this. So um, I'll see you then. I've been Bon Bon B. You've been very, very welcome. And I'll see you again very, very soon. This is this is actually quite addictive. Oh, a bit more. <laughs>